Sonko was on Monday handed a six-month suspended term that could jeopardize his bid for the 2024 elections. His possible elimination would significantly alter the contest and could also lead to violence from his supporters. Sonko claims the judiciary is being used to sideline him from the votes. The people have to mobilize to support Osmani Sonko in this fight, Khalifa Sol, one of the coalition chiefs, told a press conference on Tuesday. He joined the other heads of the Ye Yewi Askan Reliancy in urging followers to turn out in force for an already scheduled rally due to this Friday and for another protest a week later on May 19. Senegal is traditionally a beacon of stability in troubled West Africa, but in recent years has been buffered by turbulency that has at times turned deadly. Sonko, 48 years, came third in the 2019 election against incumbent Marquis Sol and intends to stand again next year. But his candidacy has been crowded by Mandy's conviction which saw an appeal court increase a sentence of two months suspended handed down in March for defaming tourism minister Mame Mbaye Nyangutori. The court also ordered Sonko to pay 200 million francs, around 330,000 US dollars in damages to Nyang. The opposition figure has not issued any public statement since Monday. Songo is also facing trial later this month for alleged rape and death threats over a complaint filed by an employee at a beauty saloon where he went for a massage. He says he is the victim of a government plot to scupper his candidacy. The government has denied the accusation. In 2021, the rape charge against him helped trigger riots that left at least 12 people dead. The presidential party accuses Songo of seeking to paralyze the country and of drumming up anger on the streets in a bid to escape justice. His appointments with the justice system are often sources of tension and near paralysis of traffic in the capital Dakar as he usually travels to court with a procession of sympathizers. Political tensions have also been stalked by Saul's refusal to rule out running for a third term as president, a move his opponents say would be unconstitutional. Thank you so much.